years, but it's currently in line with the national average. In regards to parks and open spaces, we have 518 hectares maintained. We have a dedicated tree surgery team, and in response to the big storms of November 2013, at least 100 trees were worked on. Landing fields, cold house forks, and hangman's wood are all SSSI sites with rare species and groundbreaking work being achieved in habitat management. <coughs> Allotments are pre uh, predominantly self managed. We have a thorough in bloom and in competition. Floral displays, memorials, and also all roundabouts. We have 74 play areas, 52 sports pitches, including football, rugby, bowls, and cricket. We have our highways team, which carries out the winter gritting, <coughs> road repairs, including potholes, curves, and footpaths. We have cycle paths, and also they repair the street furniture. Um, the emergency response team is a daily standby team to provide 24 hour support. We <coughs> respond to a range of incidents, including damaged floors, clearing roads, or debris, <coughs> after road uh, truck accidents, etc. The street cleansing department. Team. Uh, there's mechanical, mechanical sweeping machines as well as HGVs um, and um, green machines and pedestrian sweepers. They look after litter bins and litter picking, graffiti, <coughs> and lighting and removal. The performance has been improving year on year with standards currently achieved better than the national <coughs> average and costs among the lowest in the country. And the fleet maintenance and management. Service and repair of the whole fleet of council vehicles, including MOT and taxi safety inspections, management of vehicles, utilisation, safety, and cost reduction, uh, driver training and driver standards, <coughs> and management of stores. Can we have the next slide, please? This is a week of the household costs. It's a breakdown of the costs as they would relate to household. <coughs> Demonstrates good value of core services. Can we have the next slide, please? So, looking back on some of the key achievements, for the fifth consecutive year, the directorate is coming on budget. The streets are thorough with a clean stepper. team emptying three bins from every house in the borough each week. They have a huge task. There's often much complaint and discussion about these bins. So the whole of the borough is considered, the waste collection team is emptying at least 97% of all bins on the allocated day each week. This is a performance level that should be acknowledged and celebrated. The workshop at St Clements was developed with the view of saving money on vehicle repairs by carrying out carrying work out in-house. Exciting news is that not only have those savings been realised, but the workshop is expanding the range of activities. <coughs> Bear with me. Technology is opening up. Um, Expanding the range of activities to generate further savings through doing MOTs on the fleet and income through inspection of taxes. <coughs> the Environment Department has been supported by apprentices. Uh, in 2012-13, we had a cohort of 14 street service apprentices, six of whom completed their qualification and work experience, and one of whom is now permanently employed in the service. In 2013-14, we run a program of apprentices that provides a qualification as well as work experience across frontline services. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I did, by a courtesy today, contact the head of service to make sure this question was pertinent for Councillor Fish's portfolio because it straddles two directorates, really. But Councillor Fish's portfolio actually clears away the waste. So in regards to Green Acres, flyover in the Homestead Ward, which is on the A13. I've taken four officers there at different times and asked for gates to stop the fly tipping, an easy in and an easy out of fly tipping. And Councillor Fish's portfolio service has to clear away that rubbish that pays for it, that service. So over all that time, there's been a cost, and the last fly tip that's gone in there has cost us £30,000 to clear. And now the 
just literally put the gates on. So my question is to Councillor Fish, does he agree with me that it would be cost efficient to put those gates on three years ago when I asked four different officers, all pertinent relative officers? The second part of the question is, we all know certain lanes in the borough where the council owns the land or is responsible for it that is consistently flighted and it's reported. Specifically, what are we going to do about Rainbow Lane and South Hill Hope? And what are we going to do around the rest of the borough where there is vehicular access at the moment, we know it's flighted, that service has to clear it away and we can stop vehicular access but still allow pedestrian drive away and cycle weight. Thank you. Speech that the, the streets of Thurrock have never been cleaner. Um, I certainly know the residents in the Retro Road area of Thurrock would probably say otherwise. Um, there seems to be a very marked increase in the amount of um, dog waste being left by um, the old Aaron's dog owner. Um, on the whole, most of the dog owners and dog walkers in Thurrock are good at picking this up, but quite clearly, not all of them. Could you outline what you'd be doing um, to help with this problem? Be um, more litter bins with signs to say uh, it can be used for dog waste or increasing some form of patrol to try and catch these errant dog owners. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Fish, for your report. Um, I appreciate that uh, the work your team is doing is quite hard and it's very obvious it's out in the open and therefore any slight miss um, is a uh, cause because uh, in fact I want to thank the team publicly because um, there are some areas in Chapel that they used to miss but um, after working with um, officers that managed to identify the cul-de-sac um, which was missed. I think however Mr Mayor that um, the report should be expanded to include the complaints aspect. The complaints aspect of reports uh, about this go to uh, the standard and audit committee, therefore it doesn't make everyone see a complete picture because that's passed to another com um, committee. The report, the last report on complaints had, <coughs> excuse me, had over 600 complaints about uh, waste collection in 2013-14, uh, over 600 complaints. Um, the uh, ombudsman who also had to investigate this was co had concerns about the way um, reports were recorded and recommended that um, the way it's recorded should be improved. Uh, can you tell me uh, how many complaints were received this year, how many went to stage three, and how uh, how you have taken action to uh, act on what the Ombudsman recommended? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, uh, hold a, a question um, relating to um, the bottom paragraph on page 208, uh, where he says parks and amenities across the borough have continued to be maintained to a high level. Um, I would like you to explain to me why I constantly am being badgered by Abley Community Forum, which backs on to the recreation ground with complaints of broken bottles, litter, various pieces of paper, cigarette ends. In fact, it got so bad that last year, uh, that uh, your thorough were invited down to uh, take a film uh, of this and uh, to my knowledge this is still continuing. I'd like to know what the portfolio holder uh, is going to do to rectify it. Uh, thank you Mr Mayor. Um, I'd like to ask the portfolio holder that uh, when fly tipping is reported, what is done to action it and catch those that actually fly tip? Councillor Ray and I uh, caught someone fly tipping yesterday and reported it this morning. Um, I'd like to know what action is taken and how long does it take for those to be caught and the mess to be cleared up? Thank you, Councillor. I'd like to the portfolio holder give a regular cleaning regime uh, outside the lift for the tip. I'm going to say you don't tend to have leaves there, we tend to have paper and plastic bags in the trees. And the other thing, going towards street cleaning, um, I'll, on the way here tonight, between East Tilbury and Graves, the amount of keep less signs you cannot see through dirt and grime, not lit, is becoming a real hazard to everybody now. They all have an island around them that will be hit soon, causing a major accident. Thank you. Councillor, Folio Holder, what steps have been taken to overcome the problems we've got on the A13? We've now achieved notoriety in part of the filthiest road nationally, passing through our borough and it is in a disgusting state. I was wondering what steps we are taking to clean it up 
because this is bringing a downturn to the whole area. Thank you. She's talking about saving money and increasing team efficiency with area-based multiple <coughs> teams. This is actually myself and the Mayor put forward, um, Council Lydia, together in 2011. We were told at the time it would be too difficult, too impractical to implement it. Even after we spent a great deal of time building around together, we go up into parking in Stilbury to extol the virtues. Can you tell me what's changed between 2011 and now that's made it practical? Can I, can I just ask Councillor Holden? I was at the perfect forum last night and um, the mark well, a kilometre long, not a mile long, uh, waste at the wharf was mentioned again. I reported that there was we have found some names of people who have actually done the, the, the waste there and I'm just wondering how much further forward are we pursuing the names and is it true that this will cost £700,000 to remove that waste? Yeah, we have just got a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm only numbered, I'm, I think it's the Council of Cocktail that asked the last question, yeah? But, uh, that's not to do with my department, that's to do with public protection. Uh, Councillor Aker's question, same answer. We'll look at the public protection to see what, uh, what, what the answer is. Um, Councillor Holden, multi area working well, given the current financial situation that we're in, that um, looks to be the best way to actually make sure that we um, work in the most efficient and effective way. <coughs> given the uh, resources that we have, given the government's uh, settlement that they gave us. Uh, but, uh, I'm now struggling. Because I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>